What's up guys and welcome to today's video. Today we have something really cool and outstanding because this dual monitor right here isn't your regular dual monitor that you've seen in the past reviews and we're talking here about something quite specific right now this is uperfect delta pro touch it has two 2k screens 120 hertz and loads of other features but this is quite interesting oh yeah and did i mention that it's touch sensitive and you can write with it yeah this is quite outstanding now as you already are accustomed with we have loads of cables you get inside the box two type c to type c you get two hdmi mini two hdmi and you get usb type c to usb type a because over here you get an additional uh charger for well basically an adapter for your wall plug so you don't have to worry about cables and this is quite cool i do have to say now the specific model right here that i got this is a um, let's say a pre-production sample which has the 2k resolution but it has 60 hertz which is kind of strange because they told me it's going to be 1080p with 60 hertz and it's 2k with 60 hertz so yeah regardless of that the original version 25 60 times 1600 at 120 hertz touch sensitive really outstanding design you have a stand at the back you can flip it completely with uh, 360 degrees you can flip it 180 it's really there so let's check out what we have here when we're talking about uh, the introduction on the port side we have mini hdmi port we have usb type c then we have another mini hdmi and two more type c connectors on the other side we have 3.5 millimeter hp port menu button mode switch then again 3.5 millimeter hp port menu button and signal switch so basically what happens here is that each of these dedicated uh, ports or connectors are specifically for individual monitor but what i did here i gave the power with one usb type c directly to the pc and one hdmi connected to the lower part now for the rotation and everything that we have here uh, let's go like this the stand supports 135 degrees opening which is good because then you can get this kind of position that i'm showing you right now and the dual screen supports actually 360 folding so you can have it completely flipped or you can do it on both sides so do a mirror screen and just like i did with the last that had dual screen monitor which was really good now for the specs we're talking here about the m160t11 model it's 16 inch it also comes in 18 inch uh, version the resolution is 2560 times 1600 aspect ratio is 16 by 10 ips panel 100 percent srgb 16.7 million colors 8 bit for the interfaces you're already accustomed and then we have eight ohms one watt two speakers uh you it supports drawing and writing contrast ratio is 1200 to 1 and refresh rate is 120 hertz now for the connection you have to use usb type c c1 port which only requires one cable to achieve upper and lower screen display if you're using type c c2 port only the upper screen can be displayed if you're using hdmi port 1 you can achieve that upper and the lower screen display are powered on and well basically showing picture if you're using hdmi 2 port only the upper screen can be displayed so basically what i did here and as you noticed uh, except for the HDMI cable and also Type-C and Type-A cable for touch. Now this uh, is a bit strange because I only connected HDMI and Type-C to the PC and I'm able to use both monitors and touch screen. So this is uh, still okay. I mean, I guess it's even better than connecting three different cables. Then two different devices can have the connection. So this means that device one is connected uh, with USB Type-C C1 or HDMI 1. While the device 2 is connected via type c c2 or hdmi 2 so you can go with clone mode dpms t mode link mode or standalone mode so you can use dual screen monitors to connect different devices and achieve the desired display effects through the monitor adjustment mode settings or computer display mode settings so now i'm gonna break it down when we're talking about uh, settings this is going to be quite a lot so bear with me uh, we have mac os so with thunderbolt 3 or later you can go with clone mode or mirror display you can go with expansion without mirror display and you can go with sequence no mirror display 
macOS HDMI, you can go with clone mode and mirror display and then everything else is the same. Uh, Windows full feature USB Type-C, USB 3.1 or later, clone mode uh, duplicate, sequence duplicate, expansion extend and expansion extend. Now if we go into there, I would say some sort of an OSD menu, you have the clone mode, you have the expansion, which currently isn't supported. And then if you go with sequence, this means that this screen has the opportunity to extend the bottom one to the top one. But this also needs a bit of an adjustment when we're talking about the actual uh, screens. When we're talking about standalone, you do need to connect two individual uh, cables because when I pre press that, only the bottom one is connected because of the C1 Type-C cable or HDMI 1. If you want to have the second one, you do need to connect the other cable as well, uh, which is basically quite easy. Um, now, when we go with more stuff you have brightness contrast uh black equalizer gamma mode let's see something else what we got here uh, you have the possibility to easily adjust volume just with the wheel at the back then what we have uh here also we have the auto select so usb type c c1 c2 hdmi uh let's put it into the clone mode because that currently works in my configuration right now then after brightness, contrast, bl black equalizer, game mode, you also have saturation, quay, sharpness, uh, display rotate, so you can rotate it here, and you get some information because it uh, says HDMI, uh, 20, uh, the resolution and frequency, and there's some other information as for uh, that. Then we have reset, auto color adjustment, and uh, this is auto image adjustment. Then we have ultra HDR mode, eye protection, 3D sound, Crosshair, source, language, view, aspect ratio, and volume. Temperature, red, green, blue adjustment, uh, horizontal position, vertical position, menu time, transparency. I mean, this is unbelievable because it gives you loads of options when we're talking about the adjustment. The cool thing about this monitor is when we're talking about the touch sensitivity, it's really there. It really functions great and it works without a single problem, which is outstanding. So imagine this, you're on the go, right? You have your gamer buddy with you traveling around, I don't know, doing whatever you want. And you have this one and you have two devices that you carry around. So both can go. 2K, both can go 120 hertz, and you can both separate and connect to individual devices and game on the go with 2K 120 hertz, both of you at the same time. This is outstanding. And the cool thing is that it's quite slim. It's quite, well, when you take into consideration that you have two screens, it's not that heavy at all. So 16 and 18 inch altogether, when we're talking about models, uh, this is quite outstanding. Really loving the touch because it's really responsive. And you get a pen as well, which is quite handy because it helps you when you're typing or writing something, for instance. This could be also good if you're a graphic designer and you want to go with that part as well. By doing this, it's quite outstanding. All in all, this was a, a bit of a, let's say an overview, but somewhat going into the review part as well. Because uh, we're talking here about a monitor that has a double screen that you can game on it because of the refresh rate has an outstanding panel of course we're talking about ips no backlight bleed so there's no problem with that and the connections are there you can even separate the sound which is great and i'm quite impressed because i didn't expect from the past model that they did when we're talking about dual screen stuff that they will evolve into this into a 2k 120 hertz separation possible uh, audio separation possible, touchscreen, writing and drawing, and all the other cool stuff, guys. I mean, if you're interested, you can go on in Diego, go and uh, check it out over there because you have 30 days left to be a backer on their project. And it says uh, here it's currently in prototype stage and quickly something uh, when we're talking about specs in general. So 2.5K actually resolution, 10 point touch screen, supportive capacitive pen writing and drawing 120 Hertz refresh rate. One cable connects two screens, built in adjustable stand, 16 and 18 inch, 180 auto rotation and 200% energy efficiency. 
178 degrees viewing angle, uh, 350 per square meter, uh, color gamut is 100% sRGB, rated power is 16 watts, aluminum material, uh, built-in speakers, as already stated, you can't vest them out it, unfortunately. Uh, 2 kilos, 1.89 kilos for the 16 inch and for the 18 inch 2.18 kilos, which is definitely outstanding. So all in all, what to say? Unfortunately, this one is 60 hertz. Can't wait for the 120 hertz to actually go into gaming and uh, check it out uh, how it uh, actually functions. On 60 hertz, it was okay, but uh, you know how it goes. If you have a stronger graphic card, you'll definitely see some screen tearing uh, if you don't cap the FPS. All in all, you know what to do. The link is in the description. So if you want to be a backer for the UPerfect uh, Delta Pro Touch, you can on Indiego Go and just follow the link. And finally, if you like the content, don't forget to sub, hit the like button and click the notification bell for future content. See you very soon, guys. Bye-bye.